Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. In today's video, I wanted to quickly discuss what it's like to be a solo entrepreneur, or if you're even interested in starting your own business, then this video was made just for you. Um, I just wanted to preface beforehand that I am not personally a financial advisor. However, if you are looking for someone, you know, one-on-one -on -one executive coaching, or if you're just interested in becoming a more conscious leader, um, then definitely check out Financial Acumen. Um, I'll leave the description below. It's my dad's company. He is fantastic at, you know, helping businesses grow profitably. So if that's something of interest, definitely check that out. And, you know, in regards to this video, I'm just telling you what I've learned as a solo entrepreneur and, you know, take what resonates. Um, but with that being said, let's get right to it. So I really want to start with the benefits of being a solo entrepreneur. Um, and, you know, there is, you know, a beauty in waking up every day and doing working towards something that you're really passionate about. Um, so that can really be appealing to most folks if that's what you like to do. Um, also, you know, you have the, as while being a solo entrepreneur, you could potentially change the lives of many people. I mean, you get to wake up, whether you're taking on one client or thousands of clients, you're making a difference every day in providing, whether it's a product or service in the lives of others. So that's very rewarding in that sense. Um, also, you get the freedom and flexibility to create a schedule around your clients and something that really works for you and the client. Um, so if that matters to you, having that flexibility and freedom to do whatever you want, then going down the solo entrepreneurship route is a great way. Now, what I really wanna get into is, yes, it all sounds great you know, at surface level, what I just mentioned. However, it does take a lot of work to get that level of freedom that I mentioned. So what I mean by that is every solo entrepreneur needs to realize that there is a great deal of business development that needs to happen, especially in those first few years of business. And, you know, I've only been doing the solo entrepreneurship route for six months now. And, you know, thankfully, you know, I have clients and, you know, business is slowly growing, but it, it's a grind to get all of that. I mean, literally in addition to what I'm offering as a service, which is, you know, my Your Story business, I'm offering, you know, video production, social media, um, you know, graphic design services. Every day, in addition to that, I have to literally work on networking, you know, doing cold calls, creating a marketing strategy, you know, around social media. So what I'm trying to get at is if you're a solo entrepreneur and you're not wired that way to, you know, go and network and go meet people and have a Zoom meeting every day with a random client or if you're not wired to go pick up the phone and hit like a hundred calls a day with, you know, who knows how many you'll even be successful at. I mean, a lot of people may hang up the phone or not and you have to be okay with that. Um, I mean, also, you know, allotting a certain budget to marketing. I mean, the thing is every business is different, you know, whether you have a product or service that maybe sells on its own, maybe you have an online business. Um, where it spreads through word of mouth or that type of thing. That's always the best way. Um, but the truth is, especially in that first few years, like you have to be willing to put in so much time into the business development side. And to me, I think that's where 80% of, you know, your time should be invested, especially in the early days where, you know, I think it's 80% sales, 20% of what you're actually, you know, offering. Um, so, you know, if you're an individual that prefers, I don't want to say comfort, but I just want to say, you know, something that is much more predictable, then, you know, maybe the solo entrepreneurship route may or may not be for you. I mean, if you're not, if you're not constantly out there and you're not comfortable doing that, then, you know, the likelihood is that, you know, you can be successful, but it's going to be very hard to get your business off the ground. So what I really want you to take away from this is whether you're starting a business or you're planning to be a solo entrepreneur, invest the time into the business development, whether it's yourself that does the selling or you think it's best to hire someone or network with the right people who are naturally wired to sell, then I think your business will do so much better in the long run. At least you're positioning yourself in the right way because it's not enough just to be super talented or good at what you do, 
I mean, obviously you have to provide value to your customers, of course, but the thing is you need to get your business in front of them. Remember, like if you're providing a service and you don't have that first dollar of revenue, then you're not running a business. You're running, I mean, it's literally just a hobby at that point. So get in front of people that know how to sell and figure that ecosystem out. And also another thing, I mean, if you're personally wired to, you know, interact in teams and so forth, then that's fantastic. Who knows, maybe your, your business can grow into something one day where you hire more employees. But if you're initially starting out as a solo entrepreneur, then most of the time you're going to be solo and you have to personally be okay with that. So with that being said, I really hope this video was useful. And you know, if you're someone out there that really wants to start a business and you think it has great value to you know the world and your customers, then absolutely go do it. Um, you know, being a solo entrepreneur, as I said, it can be very rewarding, but it is it does take a lot of hard work and business development. And if you're willing to do that, then absolutely go for it. Um, and you know, I'm always here if you have any questions. And as I said, you know financial acumen, definitely go check that in the description below. Um, I, as always, I can't wait to see you all again. And please hit that subscribe button if you found this useful. Thank you so much and have a great day.